This is DCTV, welcome to Impact Moment. Once again, I'm Alvin Jones and we are on the roof, social distancing, but we're still, we're close to you. We're bringing you information about things and organizations and people that are helping you. And today, from Access Youth, we have Jody Agra. How are you? I'm great, how are you? Good, thanks for coming out. Thank you, thank Let's you. Let's talk about your organization because I understand you guys were one of the first organizations that worked as a mediator for a youth. So about 11 years ago, I founded Access Youth. And at that time, we had a very high rate of arrests for young people um, in the district. We had over 35, almost 4,000 young people being arrested um, every year. Um, and, um, and so we were the one of the only programs that were an alternative to prosecution for juvenile offenders. So instead of going into the system, um, they would get diverted into our program and then we used mediation and restorative justice. Um, and in a lot of those cases, victim offender mediation, um, where, for example, if, if there was a fight or there was a neighborhood, something going on in the neighborhood, we brought those folks into the police station, conducted mediations there. Um, and the power of mediation is one, uh, them hearing from the victim on their own. They take accountability. When you look at recidivism, re-arrest rate in that program with you know almost 2,500 kids going through that program, 90% of them were not re-arrested. If you look at kids that go into the system, it's flipped. 90% are re-arrested and most of them become adult criminals. What is the average age and what are the age ranges? We serve youth as young as seven all the way to 18. Uh, and what we found was more and more kids were coming to us as a result of an incident that was happening on school property. So they were actually, as you know, there's they're, uh, police presence in most of our schools. Uh, and so when incidences happen, they're arrested, taken from in a squad car. Why is it that when kids, like you said, seven years old, they get into a tussle or fight or grab somebody's hair, that they get arrested? What happened is in the 80s, zero tolerance policies spread across the nation, right? They initially came um, for drugs and guns, right? And really became a, a vehicle really for push out, right? So when behaviors happened in schools, particularly inner city schools with, with majority of students of color, right? There was a disproportionate use, right? Of expulsion and suspension, right? And, uh, and so that's what happened to these kids. Instead of sitting down, talking to someone, talking to teachers, talking to parents, it was much easier for, to push them out of school. So uh, we found that 70% of the kids we were getting in the pre-arrest program uh, were school incidences. And so back in 2011, uh, came up with, let's get these kids at an earlier point before they're arrested, before they're suspended, uh, and use our medicine of mediation and restorative justice in the schools. So we place full-time program managers in the schools um, so that when those things happen, the deans and, uh, and behavior deans and teachers refer those students directly to us. Thank you for coming on Impact Moment. Thank you. Once again, it's been a chance to connect with organizations and people who are doing things for folks in D.C. and Jody and all the folks with Access Youth do that. Thank you for watching Impact Moment. I'm so glad that Jody was on the show and I'm glad that you had a chance to watch. I'm Alvin Jones once again and this is DCTV.